Доброго вечора, ми з України. Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Shanka Show, stories about life in the Soviet Union. Здравствуйте, дорогі товариші, в ефірі програма Ушанка Шоу. So today we're going to talk about purchasing power of the Soviet currency, rubles, and more specifically, how much you could buy for 10 kopecks. If you're interested in this topic and somehow missed my previous videos, I have a playlist called Soviet Money, and I already covered the things you can buy for 1 kopeck coin, for 2 kopecks coin, 3 kopecks coin, and 5 kopecks coin, 5 kopeck. And I understand that comparing purchasing power of American dollars versus Soviet rubles is unthankful business, as recently one of the subscribers posted, dude, you're comparing apples to pears. Actually, it's like comparing apples to bananas, because comparing purchasing power of Soviet currency and in planned economy versus American dollar in somewhat free market economy is definitely comparing apples to bananas. But I think I found a pretty decent reference point. So if you can imagine a Soviet engineer who makes about 150 rubles per month, and a senior engineer about 180 rubles per month, and then you have 10 kopecks. So that's on the Soviet side. So now if you take an American engineer who makes maybe about $70,000 a year, which translates to about $6,500 a month, so now we have kind of reference point here, $6,500 a month American engineer versus $180 rubles per month for the Soviet engineer. And here's some basic algebra skills. You can figure out that Soviet 10 kopecks for the Soviet engineer will be equal to approximately $3.50 for an American engineer. So this is your reference point. So 10 kopecks that we're going to talk about today is equal about $3.50 in modern American dollars for the American engineer. So let's go. Things you could buy in the Soviet Union for 10 kopecks. Что можно было купить за 10 копеек в Советском Союзе? But before we begin, I just want to show you this coin. So as you see, it's pretty small size, about size of American 10 cents. So it was a lot of value, if you think about $3.50, and it was easy to lose. So for 10 kopecks, you could purchase a kilogram of the rock salt, which came in the packs. You could also purchase salt by weight, usually in the villages, like we never had salt available individually packed out of the country. It's always were sold from the big bags and you just ask how much you need. But the ones on the packages, it was about 10 kopecks per kilogram. You could also purchase one kilogram of potatoes and it's at the state-owned stores. Now, if you go to the collective farm market, Kalhoznarinak, potatoes there will be better quality, way nicer, but they'll be probably double the price, 20 to 30 kopecks per kilogram. And I already mentioned it before, but fun fact, 60% of potatoes grown in the Soviet Union were produced on the private lots, which took only 3% of all the agriculture land. So 3% of agriculture land in private hands produced 60% of all potatoes. My favorite. For 10 kopecks, you could purchase a glass. So it's a 100 milligram of tomato juice. In the Soviet Union, juices were usually sold in big glass jars. It's a 3 liter, so almost a gallon. So of course, with our tiny refrigerators, it was really hard to keep it fresh for a long time. So usually you just buy it by glass at the store, which was called fruits and vegetables. I have a video already about. For so 10 kopecks, they'll uh, pour you a glass of tomato juice. You can add salt uh, as much as you want, free of charge. And that was my favorite treat. Have some fresh bread and a glass of tomato juice. And it wasn't refrigerated. It was just sitting right there on the countertop. Mayonnaise in the Soviet Union was sold in a small 250 milliliters glass jars. So deposit for that glass jar was 10 kopecks. So you could return empty glass jar from mayonnaise, mayonnaise in Russian, for 10 kopecks. 10 kopeek. I probably need to make a separate video about this weird product called Gematagen. So that was sold like a chocolate in a small bars. And the price was 10 kopecks. But that was like a health bar that contained dried blood. I'm not kidding you. It had dry blood and it was supposed to be like high in iron so it's really good for your health. So one bar of Gimatagen candy was 10 kopecks. 
This next product was also 10 kopecks and it was unhealthy. So there was a small pack of mint snuff. So 50 gram of Nyukhatinli tabak. And I was shocked. I personally didn't know that we had that such an item for sale in the Soviet Union. But apparently we had for sale snuff. And it was a 50 gram small pack and the cost was 10 kopecks. Next item you could purchase for 10 kopecks was garchishniki. So that's like a master sheets. I think it came in a pack of 10. And this is really bizarre item to take care of your cough. So you soak it in the warm water and then you apply it to your skin. It burns like hell. Like I used to cry and you're supposed to keep them on your chest maybe for like 30 minutes. It will re leave these burn marks, but somehow it helped with your cough. So Garchishniki, there's master sheets. I'm going to make it a separate video about that. It was a 10 kopecks per pack. Okay, moving along. So for 10 kopecks, you could ride a bus or a trolley bus or tramway twice. But we also had so-called express bus service. And that one was double the cost. So 10 kopecks, you can take a bus that doesn't stop every block or so. So you can get to the opposite side of town way faster. So almost like a bus taxi. And that one was 10 kopecks. For 10 kopecks, you could purchase this badge with the cute baby Jesus. I apologize, it's baby Lenin. Uh, if you watch my videos about Soviet education, so the very first step of becoming a communist, you become an, a young Aktibrionak, so October kid. So that's the first, second, or third grade. And you purchase this little badge, star badge, with the picture of Jan Lenin. And the cost was 10 kopecks. The price of one issue of children's magazine Murzilka was also 10 kopecks. Fun fact, if you watch my video about video pirating, Murzilka also was a slang word for porn. And I just discovered uh, some lady uh, posted a comment. She's from Poland. She said that their children's magazine, the title of that magazine was also a code word for porn magazine. So I find it hilarious that in Russian Murzilka and whatever that name was of Polish magazine, both those words were code words for porn. I'm not that innocent. Okay, moving along. So next thing, one ride at Atrakcion. So that would be like your amusement park. There'll be 10 kopecks. Uh, in big cities, it was a permanent structure. So in the summer, it will be open. And of course, they close it in the winter because it's too cold to ride it. And to ride the bump cars or uh, Ferris wheel will be 10 kopecks. Several food items like snacks were also 10 kopecks. Like for example, butterbrot, svarionek kalbasoy. So that's a... That's what we call butterbrot, the German word, and it got adapted into Russian language. And varyone kalbasa is like a boiled kielbasa. So it looks like a bologna, but not really. So that was 10 kopecks. Ponchik spavidlam also was 10 kopecks. So this is like your, what they call here in America, I think it's a Polish word, pachkis. So it's the piroshki filled with the jam. We call it ponchik, 10 kopecks. Piroshki smiasam, so it's your piroshki with meat or meat pies. Small size, who knows what kind of meat was inside. It was, you know, well-ground uh, meat, cooked and then deep-fried, I guess, and it was also 10 kopecks. Another delicious item you could purchase for 10 kopecks was Sochnik Stvorogam. So that's your uh, cottage cheese-filled pastry. Very delicious. I totally forgot about it, and I'm trying to figure out if I can uh, find a good recipe and see if we, me and my wife can cook it together. Ice cream, and it's kind of funny, they had a name called Malochne Marozhna, so it's like milk ice cream, like da, it's supposed to be made with milk, it was 10 kopecks, so you have that kind of like a cup with the plumbeer ice cream inside. We also had so-called fruktovaya Marozhna, so like a fruit ice cream, that was a little bit cheaper, 7 kopecks, I liked that one a lot, but it was so sweet, I could never finish it, about halfway through, I'll be just done because I couldn't eat anymore. It was too sweet. And the last one is Malochny cocktail. So usually it will be in a cafeteria. They will have this sweet milk drink. I guess it will be like milk smoothie. So they'll have some sugar. I need to look up what the side. But it was pretty delicious, quite frothy. And it was also 10 kopecks. Okay, so that was my list of items you could purchase in Soviet Union for the 10 kopecks. And once again... Uh, think about that list and put price tag of $3.50 and 
and think is it expensive or is it cheap so for example uh, paying 350 for one glass of tomato juice it sounds super expensive because here in america you could purchase a one liter bottle of tomato juice for 199 i believe so that's expensive uh, so it's interesting to compare but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video once again thank you so much everyone who supports me on patreon who subscribes to my channel who joined my channel as a member thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon до свидания goodbye потому что если дороги будут то по ним неприятель проедет и прямо в сердце россии попадет я с ними согласен абсолютно